Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Urmisha Patel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a calendar heat map. Basically a calendar heat map helps you in finding the trend, patterns or any anomalies within your data set. Here I've used Exident 2015 data set based on which I'm trying to figure out what are the number of casualties happened in that month of 2015. Here I've pulled for the July 2015. So based on that, this calendar heat map has been generated for that month. So the dates on which you see these darker shades are the ones where have the highest number of casualty happened and the dates with these lighter shades are the dates where the lowest number of casualty happened. So this becomes very easy for anybody with just color difference that they can easily say that on which specific dates or, or weekdays that this uh, casualty has happened and what kind of a trend is happening highs and lows or on which specific uh, days that they are coming as the least. So if I see this overall chart, I can easily say Sundays are the one where the least amount of uh, casualty happen and thus regular weekdays where if you say Monday, Tuesdays and the Fridays, majority comes as the highest in the Fridays that the number of casualty happen. So it again depends on how deep you want to drill down on this and want to fetch the information or trying to analyze your data but for anybody uh, can easily say that or easily fetch the information with just color difference and can easily say on which specific days weekends weekdays we have this kind of a trend going on so let's create the same calendar heat map for this number of casualty click on this new worksheet here I've already pulled this accident 2015 data set and these are the fields we have within it. The most important field that we require to create, generate this calendar heat map is a date field. So let's use this same date field here. Drag this date field and put onto this row shelf. By default it will generate this year date. Change this year date from this more selection and from this more click on this week number and that's how we have our week numbers here for this whole year it starts from week 1 to week 53 so in total 54 weeks again drag this same date field and put it onto this row sh column shelf now by default year date change this year date and now from this more select weekday so this will generate a kind of a matrix for you that starts from Sunday to Saturday the columns and the rows starts with this week numbers. Currently it is pulling for the whole year. We just want a specific to a monthly basis. So again drag this date field and now put it onto this filter. From this select month year, click on next and I'll select specific let's say June 2015 click on apply and OK so you can have this week numbers for that June month and Sundays to Saturdays as regular weekdays now to see all those uh, filters here just click on this more option and select this filter as show filter to see the options here as you as we just want for the specific month uh, we cannot select this multiple options here so it's not valid as our uh, our problem statement or what we want actually so for select from this more option and change from multiple values to the single value drop down and now we have this all as well we don't want all so all will select as the whole year so we want uh, a monthly basis only so again from this more option go to this customize and uncheck this all show all and that's how you have removed that all from here now you just have the specific monthly basis filter here so we can have our 2015 monthly basis calendar heat map so right now we have selected for June we can change and make it for the January so January starts from week 1 to week 5 and all these columns with Sunday to Saturday now to generate this calendar heat map what we see is these boxes are representing the dates 1 2 3 4 up to 31st for this July so 
if you want to select for this January, we want that 1 to 31st as January have the 31 days. So you want that here instead of ABC, we want those numbers and the boxes with this color variation should represent by the number of casualty. So first thing is we want our numbers to be represent as a date. For this, again drag this date field and now put onto this text marks card and you will see everything's changed to the year 2015 because it's a default date settings. So from again from this more option, select this day. Now you'll see these dates are here, starts from 1st to 31st. So which is good that we want for the January 2015. So we have our 31 days here. Now the most important point is the boxes should represent with the colors. So that colors has to be come from the number of casualty. So now let's see where this measure field number of casualty is here. Yeah, here it is. So this is our number of casualty, which is the measure field. Drag this number of casualty and now put it onto this color marks card. And you will see all these numbers are now changed with the color and you can see this variation starts from 295 to 650 with this color variation. But we don't have those boxes. Why? Because the default right now is the text. So let's change with this square and you will see now the boxes are having with their color variation and the numbers are there as it is. So that's how we have our almost we are ready with our calendar heat map. So this shades which says that for the 13th of uh, January we have the highest number of casualty happened or for the July uh, not July it's a 23rd January 2015 so we have that again the highest because those darker shades we have this lighter shades but one more thing that we want is the area has to be occupied with this boxes and the area should be completely filled with this whole worksheet right now we have our standard so from this from this fit in we'll select entire view and that's how our calendar heat map is ready but in this we haven't put that week number so let's remove this week number for this right click on this week number and click on this show header let's uncheck the show header once you do you can easily remove those headers here we don't want the date here so again right click and select the hide field label for that column and we want this number should be in the middle so what you need to do is from this day date click on this more option go to the format and from here uh, for the alignment select from this pane select the center and you can see they are now center aligned and that's how we have our uh, calendar ready calendar heat map you can easily change the uh, month here select September you can have our September month calendar date uh, you can also change the color difference if you if you don't like this divergent colors you can also select from this color marks card edit the color and you can change the palette here let's say we change with this brown one apply and okay we have our variation ready with this brown one i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such video till then happy learning